This is Black Devil, alias Akru, Omega-5. How many guys do you have with you? I have 45 men on the ground. They are not all with you this time? No, no. I sent some for operation. Which operation? Operation for any expatriate kidnapping at the sea. Good day and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I have um, something touching for you. Um, this country, Nigeria, is filled with uh, lots of um, problems, talking about political instability, talking about uh, the un an unstable health sector, talking about a very poor educational system, talking about um, lack of security, high level of insecurity, and so on and so forth. Now, on the issues of security and insecurity, there have been lots of um, groups that have erupted from different um, geopolitical zones in the country to fight for various um, causes, okay? Some of these causes are just... This person who is their leader uh, couldn't stop talking. He said they would continue to indulge in this act until they find or they make up or they, or they, they finally get justice over what they are fighting for. Let me not let the cat out of the bag. Um, watch this militant group. They are people like us. They are people's parents. They are people's brothers and sisters. Watch them make their grievances known to uh, a particular uh, source that approached them at their camp. What is your mission here, my friend? Talk to me before I... I, I, I just want to talk to you. Come down, please. You don't want to talk to me. How? I, I want to ask questions. Questions? Okay? Yes. Just, As in? Just a few questions, okay? Oh, okay, come. That machete was close. Okay, 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 okay. Come down, man. I just, I just want to talk questions. Don't, 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 uh, don't be scared. Don't be scared about me. I'm uh, not scared. I just, I just want to, to ask you a few questions. If you agree. Questions. Okay, come inside. Is okay? Come inside. What? Inside, quick. Yes, yes. Sit there. You want to sit face to face with me? Yes. Okay. Sit there, sit. Can you tell me who you are? This is Black Devil, alias Akru Omega-5. How many guys do you have with you? I have 45 men on the ground. They are not all with you this time? No, no. I sent some for operation. Which operation? Operation for any expatriate kidnapping at the sea. OK. How does it work when you do an attack? I use normal speed boots. This like 200, two speed boots. Attack, and we we'll come to our camp. How many guys do you have aboard the, the speed boat when you do attack? Seven per boat, plus the driver, seven men. How do you choose your targets when you do an attack? My target, it depends on the kind of security over the ship. Do you know before if there is security aboard the, your target or not? Before you get there, the security men, they will open fire on you. Okay. Yeah. Before you come closer, they open fire. It happens often that they open fire? Yes. And so what do you do? When they open fire, me too, I ask my boys to open fire. So sometimes you have casualties? Yes. How many men did you, did you uh, lose so far? Just one man. For the past five, six years I have operated. Just, I just lost one man. Okay. And so sometimes you kill soldiers? Yeah, sure. How many, how many people uh, belonging to the security did you kill? The soldiers I killed are accountable. Maybe tw 20 men are on the boat. Maybe I kill three, kill five, I take their guns. That is the part of my job. So once you have, uh, once you have opened the fire, mm. you go uh, on board? I, I, I seize fire and I climb. You climb? Yes. Go straight to the engine room and the uh, captain. The captain. I will ask the captain to come down. How much do you have on board? Oh. I have one million, I have three million. Okay, give me. If you don't want to release the money, sorry for you, you go to hell. Go to hell. Blow off your head. Do you target specific nationalities? Yes. Like those Indians, we don't go, to, go for Indians because they are very cheap people. Like the Filipinos, no, very cheap. We target people like you. I know if I, I kidnap you, I will get much money for myself. How much do you think you could get if you from would you? kidnap me? From you? 
at least 50, 50 million naira. Which are the most uh, bankable hostages you target? Americans and French. How is the ransom uh, paid? How will you get the cash? I will direct you where to drop them. I don't use bank, just street. Okay, take the money to so, so, so point. My men are there to, to, to collect the money. Don't go with army. Don't contact the police. If you do, every, but we are watching you. If you make any move, we kill your man, yeah. Um, these people are, are, I told you before, they are people's parents, they are people's brothers and sisters. They are out there. Uh, we don't know if the cause they are fighting for is just or unjust. But um, from what they are saying, you can't, as a foreigner, come to their own territory and um, perform a sort of industrial um, industrial investment or come through and make a sort of exploitation, as they call it, without involving them who are from that particular zone. Okay, um, It's left for those involved to see if this cause is just or not. But first things first, I would like to tell you that these people are Nigerians like you and I. He burst into emotions and made known this part of the story. This part will make you go emotional and you will feel so sad for these people because of this particular thing he's trying to say now. Watch it. Okay, what, what, what do you do with this money? The money? I used to buy ammunition on speed boats and the rest to take care of our families. Because we don't have a job, that is why we are doing this dirty job. You come to exploit here yeah, and you don't want to employ we. That is why, that is the major reason why we are doing this. You don't want to employ us and you are exploiting from us. You have children? I have five children. Two are in the university and I don't have a job. How do I train them? How do I feed them? How do I pay my house rent? Anybody, any expatriate companies are coming to operate here. If you don't settle with us, you won't operate. I swear to God, the black devils are always stand by. Welcome back. Um, all said and done, you've heard it there from this militant group or this pirate group called the black devils, okay? Now, um, it's so sad and it's at the same time uh, a sort of terrific, okay, to have these people around. Although they are Nigerians like us, but we urge them to also keep their arms down and come to a sort of consensus or dialogue, if possible. Here, on the other hand, those involved should also make moves. Those involved in the government should make positive moves to see that these people are, are granted some of amnesty and then they are shown uh, a sort of honest job to do because they have been complaining or they complained in that video that there are no honest jobs to do. Even if there are honest jobs to do, they don't get picked or employed in these jobs. That is very, very sad. Now, insecurity has come on the rise in the past few of years in Nigeria, talking about um, problems in the southwest Okay, that had to be tackled, high rate of kidnappings and killings and robbery and um, so social vices took place or have been taking place in the Southwest and uh, the Southwest made a mo positive move to curtail that uh, by uh, bringing on board a private security or a community security outfit called the Amotekun and run to the North or the th North Central where a high rate of insurgency has been eating up states like Bauchi State, Borno State, Adamawa State, Yobi State and so on and so forth. Recently, it's Kaduna State that has been on the terrorist list or on the insurgency list of late or of recent. Now, um, to respond to this, lots of um, um, operation uh, strategies have or operational strategies have come up from the Nigerian army and other armed forces to see that they curtail the high risk of insurgency in the north. Okay, now forward to the southeast and the south uh, south, you have high risks of piracy and um, uh, kidnappings and militancy. All right, so. Um, the three geopolitical, ge three main geopolitical zones in the country are being terrorized and characterized by um, either terrorism, um, social vices, crimes, and then insurgency. So we urge the government coming in to please um, take charge of this, or the new government coming in to take charge of this, because this is one part of um, Nigeria's um, uh, development or economy that needs to be touched so, so dearly. That's the security aspect. This will prevent lots of um, lots of international uh, investors from coming into the into the country 
to invest whatever they have for a quick growth and a kind of expansive development strategy for the country. Political ideas will be um will be diffused if insecurity is tackled. International ideas will be diffused, and so on and so forth. Let's see if this uh, continues to uh, will continue to stop as um, we look forward to a new government. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you like our videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, and make sure you make these videos go viral. Watch till the end. See you next time.